storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. Storm, they're, they're, we could have sex with spirits. Did you know that? Let's talk about that because we sure can. Being spiritual is different than there's something called an incubus and there's something called a succubus. Yes. The incubus is the male spirit that will have sex with us when we're sleeping. The female spirit is called the succubus. So it's usually the female spirit having sex with the male and vice versa. But I don't know if they're gay or straight or gender. I don't know anymore. All I know is that there's a female and a male spirit and the incubus and succubus. So the succubus, I guess, sucks dick. But <laughs> just saying. Could do boobs, maybe toes. I don't know. But that's what they're called. And a lot of times in our sleep, we astral project. Our souls always leave. We go travel. We go see the guy, the girl, your family. You might be in Japan. You might be in Antarctica. But you travel. And then I'm sure you've had this and your listeners have when you're asleep and all of a sudden you're like shaking and you're vibrating. And, 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 and it's weird. You don't know what's going on. It's your soul reentry coming back okay. into your body. And it's like you wake up. Then there's this thing called witch's riding, where you feel like you're being choked and there's something or someone on you, which often is the incubus or the uh, succubus. And it's literally on you. It's yes. called witch's riding. And you and you startle because you can't talk and you want to scream and you think you're dreaming, screaming. All of that stuff's really happening spiritually. This isn't to scare anybody. It's not an everyday occurrence, but there are some that attract it. There are some that bring it in. There's some that train themselves to get it. I, I had one girl that was so addicted to the incubus, she thought he, she was in love with them. And I'm like, I took it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh it, it, it's all out there. But, but 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 you know what though? And I try to like I try to tell people I feel like I had an experience like that. And people say, You're crazy, you were just drunk. And I'm like, I wasn't drunk. I ended up renting an apartment that used to be a um, mental hospital in the 30s. Wow, that must have been haunted. Right, right. It, but my friend that I rented it from was like, "Oh, it's haunted." Just so you know, and I'm like, You're, "No, it's not." <laughs> and I had that experience where I couldn't get up, and I wasn't sleep, but something, something got on top of me. If I'm going to ask you this, but I have to. What? You, you had sex with a ghost? A ghost? Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Tell me about it. I moved into this house. I bought this mansion in Georgia. So this was a really, really spooky place. But yes, one time um, I woke up and yeah, a ghost. I was being mounted by a ghost. I wasn't high. That was my next question. I wasn't high. <laughs> that was my next question. Wasn't Were you tripping? Were you tripping? No, I was no. not tripping. You've had quite a life. I've had some crazy situations. Yeah, the ghost or the incubus, yeah. and it's the presence. A ghost is a is 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 a person, a soul, that hasn't gone to the other side. That stays here for whatever reason, for completion, or sometimes you ha a medium has to talk to it to release it because of guilt that it has, or like the home. Maybe it didn't want to leave the home. It had a, an emotional connection to that place. But then the prey, which is us, the body, they'll come and attach to us and suck yes. our energy. And you can be tired and drained and not even know why. Or there's times you have such a great spiritual, sexual thing. You wake up the next day, you don't remember, but man, you are feeling good and happy and joyous, right? Because yes. you had a Good thing, just like they say, if you dream of a lot of people in your dreams, you're gonna have a better day than if you had a weird dream. There was a dream yesterday. A girl called. She go. We're talking about drugs. I'm trying to help her get clean, and I said, "You can't do this if you're still smoking dope and all the THC." She goes, "Well, I have to ask you something." I said, "What's that?" She goes, "I dream about snakes." I said, "Really? You're in the snake pit?" Hmm. She goes, "Well, what does it mean?" I said, "Well, you're not really healthy." We were just talking about drugs and poor nutrition, so I googled snakes and dreams and it talked about negativity toxicity low life no self-worth no self-esteem so she's dreaming snakes and brings it up just after i said you got to get off the pot you got to change your protein intake you got to change your diet and put your life together yeah and then she brought up the snakes and it all tied together 
the subconscious or the spirit knows what we need. Yeah, she's living a low vibrational life. Like it's no, yeah, she's yeah. hurting. It's self destructive. So she keeps seeing snakes. I said, yeah, you're on the snake pit. And I read the definition of snakes in the dream, and it was all negative. So she, the light bulb went on. People who come to me think I'm going to say you're going to live happily ever after. And here's the guy. Here's the ring with five carrots, and and here's the here's a Mercedes. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. Some people it does, but most of the time no. But she heard it. She was stunned. I said, just do the work. You know, if you want to call me back, I'll be happy to help you. She wants to be a famous actress. I said, you're not going to be Meryl Streep. You're not going to be Janice, Jen Jennifer Aniston. It's not going to happen. Uh, it's a storm show. Hey, it's a storm show.